welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 best tricks which you can use to make your life easy when using the Excel. Number one, flash fill and autofill. As you can see on your screen, we've got some email addresses over here. Now, if we type and the pattern of these email addresses is the first name dot the last name. Now, if we type the full name over here, for example, the first one, and then if we go to the second one, and then we type, as you can see here, I've just written a few letters of the, the first name, and then it's showing me the drop down here with the suggestions as per the rest of the email addresses. So this is flash fill. Now, autofill is similar. It also follows the pattern. If I write number two here, and then in the corner, if I drag it down here, it will just copy the same number down the list. Now, if I am to write one, two, select both of these, and then drag it down, it will increase the number by one down the list. Now, it also can work in case of dates. For example, we have 1st of January 2020, copy it down, and for the months as well. And it also works for days of the week as well. Number two, quick analysis tool. We have a set of data here. If you select it all, down in the corner, you can see a small icon and it's a quick analysis tool. If you click on it, it gives you different options, formatting, charts, totals, tables, spark lines. Now, if we go to the tables and then you hover over to the sum part, it shows you that it sums up all the columns for you. Now, if you move over to this sum, and it sums up the rows for you. And you can also take the average, you can count the number of cells. So it can be very handy. You can also go to charts, prepare different charts and use them in your sheets. And you can also do the formatting, use different colors, icons. So this tool can be a very handy thing instead of going to each option manually and selecting it, you can do all of this through this quick analysis tool. Number three, auto fit column width. Now, as you can see, we have different columns here. If you go on top and click, it, when it turns to this icon, and then you click, double click it, it adjusts the column width for you. Now, if you want to do for all of these together, now if we change it and then select all of it, double click and it fixes it for you. Number three, filter. As you can see on your screen, we've got some data here. If we click it anywhere in any of the columns and then if you go to the data tab and then you go click on filter it applies or it creates different filters in each column. Now if you click on any of these, for example this one, it gives you all the unique options. For example, if we are to change this to one as well. Now, and also we have two here. Now if you click on this, it gives you all the unique options you have in there. Now if we unselect all and only select one and then press OK, as you can see, it only filters the data with the rows where we have number one. Number five, remove duplicates. As you can see, we've got some data over here. Now, removing the duplicates can be very handy when we have a large set of data and we don't want the repeated entries. So if you select all of this data and then you go over to the data tab and then it gives you an option to go for remove duplicates click on it and it gives you different options 
for example if we want to remove the duplicates as per the first name and the last name you can simply uncheck age click ok and you can see it has removed two duplicate entries now only use this when you actually want to delete those entries if you just want to filter the results then just use the filter option which we've discussed earlier number six paste special values as you can see we've got a set of data over here and in this column we have the formula applied as you can see now if we are to copy this data and we want to paste it somewhere else but we don't want the formulas to, to go along with the data we just want the values then what you can do is you can copy it and this is the location where you want to paste right click go to paste special and then select values and press ok now as you can see here it only has the values and there are no formulas however over here it had the formulas applied on that so this can be a very useful tool as well number seven absolute cell reference as you can see on your screen we've got a set of data over here and in the total column we have a formula which is e6 minus f6 and also here if we move down it is e7 minus f7 and then e8 minus f8 now this is a relative cell reference there are two types of references in excel relative cell reference and absolute cell reference now if we want to apply a discount here then it will be this value so equals this value times the discount and press enter we've got the 10% discount here if you drag it down as you can see it's not giving us the right values here and there is an error now let's check what's what we got here now if we look at it it has e7 times g2 which is this cell instead of g1 so we want g1 to be multiplied with all of these values now we can do this using the absolute cell reference so if we go back to this cell and then up in the formula if you just write the dollar sign before g and the dollar sign before one then now press enter and if we drag it down now you can see it has the correct values now and these are all getting multiplied with this g1 cell so this is how you can use the absolute cell reference within your sheets number eight text to columns as you can see on your screen i have a set of data over here and we want to copy this over to our excel sheet let's copy it paste it and as you can see it has pasted all the data in the same column but we actually want this data for example it, these are the first name last name and their age we want all of this to be pasted in different columns so first name in first column second name in second and the age in the third column now how we can do this is if you go up and if you go to the data and then there's an option for text to columns if you select it it gives you different options delimited and fixed length fixed width sorry and if you want to go for the delimited for now because this data is separated by dots in between so if you go next and then you have to actually select the delimiter we don't want the tab so in and we don't want the semicolon our data is separated by the dot so if you go to other enter the dot here and now you can see all the data has been separated into three columns if you click finish and then now you'll see that 
all the data has been separated into different columns so this way if you're copy pasting a large set of data and then you want this to be in different columns you can do this trick to separate it uh, into different columns number nine freeze panes as you can see on your screen we have a large set of data the way freeze panes works is if we see here if we want to move to the right side and we want to keep this first column as it is as we move along the right side and also we have top row if we move down the list we want to see those months on top of this so the way we can do is if you click right at the corner where you want the rows above and the columns to the left to be uh, freezed then just click here and then go up in the view section it gives you an option of freeze panes if you click on it and then click freeze panes now you'll see it has drawn a line here and a line there if you move to the right now you can still see the, the left column there with the names and if you move down the list you can still see that the, the top row is sticking to the top edge and if you just want to unfreeze this simply go back to freeze panes unfreeze panes and it will go away number 10 control plus the arrow keys as you can see on your screen we've got some data here which is now if we want to move across now this is very helpful when you have a large set of data so if you press control and then press the right key it takes you to the right corner of the data if you press the bottom key it takes you to the bottom corner then left and then back up again so this can be very useful too when you're dealing with the large set of data and you want to get to the bottom corner or the top edge you can simply use the control key and then up down right left arrow keys to get to different sides of the data thank you very much for watching the video please comment down in the comment section let me know how would you like the next content to be and hope to see you in the next video thank you